Good day everyone, I am Najal Seruhana Parani from BIT for AFSM. So now I will discuss to you about the guidelines on assessments. So what is the meaning of guidelines on assessments? When we see assessments, it is a right on another person's property, whether it is a mobile, a mobile or corporeal. So pag sinabi naman natin guide, guidelines itself guide. So it, ito yung magiging guide. So next is what the meaning of assessments also it is as situated outside of a private property limits the assessments is a public land etc public domain that should be equ equally enjoyed by all members of the community so ang uh, pag for example dito yung assessments pag di ba sabi niya doon is a private property but it is a assessments public land so bawat isa sa atin or sa isang community as mayroon kang karapatan halimbawa sa kalsada sa kalsada mayroon karapatan yung mga mga motor at yung mga taong naglalakad lang sa gilid so it means uh, sa gitna ng ay sa gilid ng kalsada may karapatan yung mga taong maglakad doon. So, yun yung sinasabing uh, assessments in, in a public land. Pag sa gitna naman is yung mga motor or yung mga sasakyan. So, alimbawa, is, alimbawa, ako is nagpagawa ako ng bahay. So, dapat, magbibigay ako ng space na dadaa, uh, madadaanan ng ibang tao. Halimbawa, nagpagawa ako bandang daanan. So, dapat magbibigay ako ng space para sa mga dumadaan. Next. Um, a residential and like a use, whether temporary or permanent. B. Long-term or overnight vehicle parking, etc. Unless duly designated as a day or night. A pay parking zones. C. As a display this pottery of stalled or worked or obedient vehicles, mechanical device, and uh, like. D. A conduct of a specific commercial institution, institutional or industrial activities not compatible with its stated character. A. A naturalized recreational or entertainment usage uses the, the like which will only benefit certain entities and which will ultimately result in a convenience or no citizens or safety the problems to the general public ito naman yung uh, example of space yan photo taken from the Montalban Rizal next Next is the allowed or encouraged structures developments within assessment. So, dito ito yung example niya. Makikita natin ang example niya is the is planned the development for assessment of the least 9 in white yung haba niya. So, yun yung sinasabi ko for example kanina. So, sa mga gilid, ito yung magiging daan or karapatan mo daanan. So, tapos may karapatan din yung mga dumadaang sasakyan. So, may yung gilid ng kalsada is, um, sa gilid ng kalsada is mayroon dapat yung mga tao na dadaanan. So, doon yung kapag lumagpas yung sasakyan, so may karapatan ka ng magreklamo kasi daanan siya ng mga tao. Sinabi dito is allowed or encouraged structures development within assessment. If other than 9 meters, the assessment may include a roadway, carriageway component on which vehicles can pass or on which the same may temporarily park, etc. and is is planned and the like. Next. Ang next natin is the law of enhanced mobility of disabled persons. PW PWD or law. So, yung mga PWD law, meron din silang um, ibang dinadaanan or karapatan. So, 
Batas Pambansa BLG 344, an act to enhance the mobility of disabled person by requiring certain building institutions, establishments, and public utilities to install facilities and other devices. Rule number two, minimum requirements of accessibility. Mayroon silang minimum requirements. So, so first is categories disabled person. So, A is a impermanence requiring confinement to wheelchairs or B, impermanence causing difficulty of in insecurity in the walking or climbing stairs or requiring the uses of braces, sketches, or the artificial supports or impermanence caused by impolution, or arthritis, or spastic condition, or pulmonary. Um, mapapansin natin minsan sa mga daanan or minsan sa mga overpass, uh, mayroon silang daanan doon para sa mga PWD. So, yung mga PWD na mga naka-wheelchair lang. Marami na tayo makikita ng ganun. So, may karapatan din sila. Next is total or partial impermanence of hearing or sight causing insecurity or like a lewd. Exposure to a danger in a public place. D is a mental weather acquired or congenital in nature. The next. Two basic planning requirements. Ito naman yung mga basic requirements. So, first is accessibility. Pag sinabi natin accessibility is a both environment shall be designed so it shall be accessible to all people. Reachability is a provision shall be adapted to introduce to the physical environment. Usability is a bold environment shall be designed to allow the disabled citizens to part participate and to contribute to developmental goals. Orientation, finding a person way inside and outside of buildings or open space shall be made easy for everyone. Next. Safety. Pag alam naman natin pag sinabi nating safety. Designate, designing for safety ensures that people shall be able to move about with less hazards to life and health. Workability and efficiency. The built environment shall be designed to allow the disabled citizens to part participate and contribute to developmental goals. Next. Sa labas naman tayo, outside and around buildings. So, so first, ito yung example niya. So, drop cords. So, ano nga ba yung drop cords? A change in the level walkway should be affected by sight, ramps, and drop cords. B. Drop cords shall be provided a pedestrian crossing at the end of the footpaths of private street or access road. So, makikita natin yung drop. Ang tawag pala dun is drop cord. Yung line-line na pagtatawid ka na sa highway. Mara, mas may, marami natin may kita nito is sa highway. So, may kita natin doon yung mga minsan drawing lang. Pero min, ngayon, karamihan is curve-curve uh, na talaga siya. Kulay white. Para safety. Next is the example niya. Cross section of drop curve. Ayan yung example. So, drop curve shall be slapped towards the road with a maximum cross gradient of 1.2 to prevent water from collecting at the walkway. The lowest point of the drop curve shall not exceed more than 5 mm height above the road or gutter. Ito yung curve na isa lang pero mataas, medyo mataas. Next. Curb cutouts. Ito naman yung curb cutouts. Ito yung um, lapad, uh, unting lapad lang siya bago ka tumawid. So, curb out shall be allowed with well not obs obstruct or walk away or any lesson with within of the walk away. The minimum within of the curb cutout should be 0.90 meters. So, ganun lang yung lapad niya. Next is, yan, walkaways. Ayan, 
makikita mo dapat is uh, may karapatan din yung mga PWD so dapat maayos or dapat makakalaka din sila or makakatawid walk away shall be keep as a level as a possible of provided with an wed sleep resistant and material walk away shall be have a minimum with an or 1.20 meters ayun sya next is yan handrail height yan sya so yung handrail height yun yung mga para sa mga PWD or mga naka wheelchair handrails shall be installed at 0.9 meters and 0.70 meters above steep ramps so sinisigurado makakadaan din yung mga naka wheelchair Pag sinabi naman natin open space, where of open space are provided, the blind can become particularly disappointed. Therefore, it is extremely helpful if any walkaway or paths can be given, defined, and each is other by the use of the platters. Ayan. Para naman to sa mga blind. So, mga hindi nakakita. Signage. Ito. Karamihan or lagi natin nakikita kahit saan tayo pumunta, may signage sa ay nakikita. Ito. Signage, when, when we see signage where open space are provided, the blind can become particularly deserved or therefore, it is uh, extremely helpful if any walk away or paths can be given. So, pag sinabi naman natin silage, alam, ito yung magtuturo kung saan, halimbawa, uh, pumunta ka sa mall, then, um, hinahanap ko yung CR, ng comfort room. So, minsan, marami tayong makikita kung saan yung daan papuntang CR. May signage yung, uh, may signage yung mga SM. Next, parking. Parking areas. Alam naman natin yung mga parking areas, ito yung mga kung saan dapat mag-park yung mga sasakyan. Parking space for the disabled should be allow enough space for the person to transfer to a wheelchair from a vehicle. Accessible parking space shall be located as a close as a possible building entrance or accessible what accessible entrance. So, sa mga dis, uh, PWD or disabled person, meron din sila para sa mga parking. Siyempre, hindi sila pwede dun sa madamihan. So, mayroon para sa kanila kung saan sila dapat magpa-park kasi dapat maluwag yung space nila kasi ipapasok ng wheelchair nila or just bababa sila. Ayan. Yan yung for example or parking para sa mga PWD. So, malawak yung space dapat kasi bubuksan yung bintan uh, or yung pintuan. Photo taken as a central in a marquina. So, dapat yun yan yung parking ng mga PWT. So, sabi dito is a walk away from accessible space of 1.0 meters. Clear within shall be provided and between a front ends and park cars. Provide drop cars or crop cuts out to the parking level where access and walkways are that listed. Okay. Mayroon talagang parking para sa mga PWD. Next, inside building and structure. Ito yun naman yung inside building sa structures. So, sa entrance, at least one entrance to the very building should be able accessible from arrive and departure. So, sa mga pagpapasok din sa building or minsan sa mga mall, pagpapasok tayo, meron din daanan para sa mga PWD. Para sa mga wheelchair. Eh, kasi hindi naman sila pwede dumaan sa mga hagdanan. Ayan, for example, entrance with visible shall be provided a level area with the list at 8.80 meter deep and 1.50 meter wide yung lawak kasi para makapasok yung wheelchair ayan for example dapat ganyan kalawak hindi pwedeng maliit kasi hindi sila makakapasok at hindi naman pwedeng tumayo ayan next washroom and toilets in order to add visual 
visually impair the person's really reality and determine whether our washroom for men or women the signage on the men's washroom door shall be unequivocally and triangle with the letters pointing upward those for women shall be a circle so minsan may makikita tayong signage paglala pag minsan yung circle lang tapos ganun may cross pero minsan kadal or kadalasan ang drawing or ang signage niya is ganyan pandalaki or pambabae para para mabilis malaman kung saan yung babae or lalaki yung CR yun yung yun yung pinaka importante sa signage para hindi maligaw next guidelines and sidewalks Subject to existing laws and regulation, the local planning authority shall determine which street shall be have an open sidewalk or an air arcaded covered sidewalk or combination of both. The minimum width of the sidewalk for R R O W width of the nine meters meters or more shall be one point twenty meters on each side R R O W or a total of two. 0.40 meters of both side of the RRO W. So, ayan yung sinasabi ko kanina sa guidelines ng sidewalks. Do, may rin din tayong karapatan sa mga sidewalks na yan sa dinadaanan. Kasi hindi pwedeng puro lang sa mga sasakyan. Ayan, for example. Next. Ayan. For example, ng Marikina. Sa pakalawak niya, din sa mga gilid, is may sidewalk siya. So, yan. Sidewalk shall be based on the following conduction. Yan. Next. Ito naman is yung roadway of, uh, road right of where RROW. Ito yung mga sinasabing RROW. Sidewalk shall be Uh, shall be of a uniform width and throughout of the entire length of the street. And also sidewalk width and grid and finish of the dominant use of occupancy along the RROW shall and generally observe. So, ito yung sukat ng sidewalk na nilalakaran natin. Yung, uh, mayroon 30.25 meters, 25 to 29 20 to 24 and 10 to 19 meters below. So, dapat may sukat bawat sidewalk. Yan. Next. Ayan. For ito. Ito yung example ng sidewalk. Pero, ito yung mali sa daanan. So, dapat walang ganyan. Kasi delikado yan sa daanan. And also walang nakalagay na ganyan sa sidewalk at walang nakaparadang motor. Kaya karamihan ngayon, maraming naglilinis kasi minsan yung mga tao sa mga, yung mga sidewalk, minsan ginagawang tindahan nila ginagawang vendor stone um, doon din nag-create ng mga traffic kasi minsan yung sidewalk ginagawang um, Ayun nga, may nagtitinda doon. So, yung mga tao hindi na makalakad. So, yung mga sasakyan is mag a sila. So, yun yung um, da hindi dapat gawin sa mga sidewalk. Ayan, is delikado pa ganyan. So, pwedeng ma-accidenti yung, yung lalakad yan. Ayan, bawal yan. So, tinaharangan yung sidewalk. At bawal din lagyan ng, or bawal ipark. Kaya karamihan ngayon nagbilinis talaga. So, nakalagay dito, sidewalk shall as much as a possible be level of uniform grade and throughout the entire length of the street. The photos below show example of this. Ayan. Habang mali. And that's all. Thank you so much.